Feels like you get hit by a mass truck. I'm evil. I do not feel good. The stress. Hey. We almost got this. Good morning, happy peoples. Hope you're having a great day. Um, we, man, we're having an outstanding weather here. It's wonderful. Things are starting to melt. It's early breakup. Praise God for that. However, um, I do have some not so happy news to report. Our entire family, minus myself, has the flu. Some kind of intense flu. I don't know if it's just Alaska. I mean, obviously flu happens all over the place. Um, but let me know if you've gotten the flu this year or if you have like um, you know, flu-like symptoms that are maybe different than we're, what we're experiencing. My wife's got, like, aches all over her body. The kids are down. Um, it's, I don't want to gross you guys out, but pretty much most everyone's throw up, thrown up. Evelyn had 103 temperature last night, so I kind of slept downstairs on the couch to try to take care of her to keep that monitored to be able to pull it down. So... Um, not gonna be much of a vlog today guys, but I just wanted to, uh, I guess, keep you guys posted on what's going on. I, um, I try to take today off, but I keep having to deal with work stuff, so here and there I gotta do that. But that's what's going on here. We could use some prayers, we really could. And let me go in and check on, check on the family and see how they're doing. This is always the struggle when the kids get sick because they don't watch a lot of TV and trying to find something that's like appropriate and wholesome to put on. A little hard. They're like old classic Mickey Mouse. Maybe. How are you doing, buddy? Good. You doing better? No. You sick? Mm-hmm. Let me check your temperature, okay? Your body temperature is 102.6. Ooh, yours is raising too, bud. Oh no. Let me go put some, let me go get some medicine on board, okay? The stress. The babies are sick like this. Oh my goodness. It's like I'm just keeping the Tylenol, the children's Tylenol, like just ready to go at all times. The girls all had medicine here about an hour ago. So the temperatures we just read were after, you know, the pain or the Tylenol has taken effect. And Buddy just popped up with his fever. And Mommy's is looking good, but she also just, I actually just gave her some NyQuil because her, her body's hurting really bad. So anyway, this is kind of going to be my life here today, guys. Got to take care of the family first. Um, However, uh, there is some footage that we would like to show you. It's not a full vlog, just a few clips if we could on Grand Prix. Some of you guys are asking like how the kids did and we made all their Grand Prix cars. And I don't want to spoil the surprise, so I will show you right now. Well, today is the day. Grand Prix. Okay, so I'll show you. Here's the track. Balloons. There's a lot of people kind of see that big side up there. Okay, Evelyn, question for you. Are you nervous or are you excited? Nervous. Nervous? Why are you nervous? <laughs> oh my goodness, Evelyn. Garrett? Are you nervous or excited to race your car? Excited. Why excited? Because I want to win. Oh, okay. It's gonna be awesome. I just thought I'd show you around, and we're gonna start in three, two, one. Yeah. 
Are you excited? Yeah. Hang on. Are you so excited? Good job, buddy. Good job. Are you on yellow? Go F man. Morning, happy peoples. Whoa. We are day four of some kind of Alaskan bird flu or something. I'm not even sure what it is. It's been rough. It's been so bad that Audrey has had it worse. How you doing, kid? You doing okay? She's had it the worst. I think she's dehydrated. So I'm going to take her into the doctor's office and see if they want to put in like a like an IV or or something just to get her back up on step. I think she's spiraled too much down. She does is not strong enough to force herself to eat and drink. So we appreciate your prayers. Hang in there, baby. Hang in there. It's the energy to get out of the house. Audrey and I were quoting Philippians 4:13. I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me, right? We can do this. We can be strong. Our doctor's office is about 30 minutes away from where we live. So we are going to take it easy and be strong, right, baby girl? Okay. You're going to do great. Alright guys, we made it to the doctor. I don't know much I can video, but I do want to bring you guys with me for sure because it's definitely comforting. So, alright Audrey, you ready to go in, baby girl? Mm -hmm. Let me carry you. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'll carry you. This is TBC First Care. And if this doesn't work, we're going to go to the emergency room. Alright baby girl, come on. Oh. Come on. In your little plastic bag in case you need to barf, okay? <laughs> we almost got this. You'll feel so much better once they give you some fluids. All right, here we go. We made it, baby. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
You feel so helpless as a parent when you can't do anything. Because I can't do anything for her right now. Right, the doctor's gonna come in, okay? We'll find out what the doctor says. Look at that. That helps numb you so they can put an IV in. All right, they were able to put an IV in, praise God. I think she's starting to feel a little better. Putting some Zofran, some anti-nausea medicine, um, and just hydration. She needs hydration, and some, I think some ibuprofen too. So I think she's gonna be better. We just need probably an hour or so here just to get some fluids in her. Feel better? Did that help you? Kind of. All right, guys. It's nice to be able to talk to someone while this is happening. This brings me back to oh, when my wife gets pregnant. Um, this is literally how it is when my wife gets pregnant. Only all the other kids, of course, aren't sick, but she's down like this for six months. And it is so stressful. And as bad as this situation is, I know there's gonna be an end to it. The kids will get better. They'll probably still start feeling a little better by tonight, Lord willing. But, wow. And for those of you who don't know, my wife has a condition known as, I believe I'm pronouncing this right, hypermesis gravidarum, which is where she basically is allergic to being pregnant. And she goes on bed rest for about six months straight when she gets pregnant and like every breath, every little scrap of food is tough because she'll throw up 10, 12 times a day. She has to go on medication, IVs, trips to the... Anyway, every time this sickness happens, it all comes flooding back, guys. This too shall pass. And it's nice to be able to be able to talk to you guys at least while we're dealing with the, with the high stress situation. Good morning, happy people. Sorry, it's the next day. Um, we got home with Audrey and everyone just crashed. <laughs> It's kind of been one of those, yeah, we've never been this sick before in our life. My poor wife's over here trying to make food. We've been so much struggling, guys. We've been like washing the dish that we need to use because we didn't have the energy to like wash all of them. Um, how are you feeling, baby girl? Not too good? You feeling better than yesterday? I can't hear very well. Yeah, your head's kind of plugged up, isn't it? Going by. You're not doing good? Mm -hmm. What do you need? Nothing. Nothing? Mommy made me a sandwich. Mommy made you a sandwich? How are you doing, baby? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, you struggling? <coughs> and our house, of course, is, our house is trashed. I'm trying to help my wife a little bit. She feels like her chest is like, you know, she feels like she's gonna, feels like she's gonna die. And then today, we have Awana. And about half of our leaders are down. So this might be a this might be a mistake. Maybe we should just cancel, <coughs> but I hate doing that. Because the kids look forward to it all week. Our kids are gonna stay here though because they just don't need to don't need to move, but I'm attempt to make this work without my wife, which is always a struggle for a while. So that's what's going on here. I'm gonna leave this vlog here with the, the family. Hopefully they'll feel a little better where they can talk to you. Okay, update here at the Summers household. We are still managing here. I have some ibuprofen on board. I'm, I apologize right now that you have to be able to see me like this because this is not a good look. I did not put anything on. We've got one coffin over here still. <coughs> We're just, uh, it's, been, it's been a rough go, guys. Audrey's still hanging in there. Are you still drinking? What, what? It's, it's everywhere, guys. They were unable to go to Awana today. They're working on their scripture talk, which is kind of like a memorization type of type of a DVD. It's kind of where they put motions to scriptures and things like that. Guys, I do not remember the last time I actually had the legit flu. Like, I always thought the flu was the stomach bug. Look at... I literally, me walking around like this has probably been the most I've been up in a really long time. The stomach bug is very different than the flu. Stomach bug is like a 24 hour gig. 
48 hour gig where you, you get sick. The flu <sighs> feels like you get hit by a Mack truck. So I apologize that the vlogs are so behind and so late, but, and what was bad, it wasn't just like one of us got it like at one time. It's all of us got it at the same time. Bert had like a little bit of a lead lag time where he, like it was like two days, he was able to take care of all of us. Uh, Bert was really hesitant of even going to club today because he doesn't want to infect everybody, but if he didn't go, there'd be nobody there that could be able to make it happen. So, anyway, just touching base. Um, hopefully we will start to feel better soon. Maybe I'll be able to try to work on some of the vlog, the edit. I'm just so, so tired and so fatigued and like nauseous and can't breathe. And I'm going to stop complaining now. But I have sympathy for those of you who have had the flu. And I'm sorry I look like a hot mess. guys I'm putting everyone down to bed appreciate you checking in we appreciate you being part of our YouTube family we really do um, so status update Garrett is running about 101.5 but he's somewhat mobile and does not have any kind of stomach issues all three of the girls have stomach flus and they have high temperatures so we are doing a combination of ibuprofen and Tylenol of course at the appropriate times so alternating back and forth and I think I just I gave mommy some nighttime cold medicine because she's actually I think has it the worst and I just gave her her second dose like eight hours later I guess you can do that every six hours supposedly um, but she's gonna hopefully sleep it off Lord willing and be okay I got a little bit of food down in them they got a little bit of apples a little bit of like uh, sugar toast um, Garrett ate like normal food which was cool so and Praise God, the men don't have it too bad, right, buddy? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We got to take care of our girls, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you, Do you love your girls? Mm -hmm. Thanks so much for watching and checking in with us. Uh, we'll keep you updated. We've got a lot of fun stuff happening. Unfortunately, this is just not the happy time in the Summers household, but this is real life. This is what's going on, and we try to share as much of our lives with you as as we can. So let's have Garrett close out the vlog. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye, YouTube channel. Beep. Hey Garrett, question for you. What? What's the best part of being sick? Um, being not sick. <laughs> and this is really uh good. So being not sick and having popsicles. Uh huh.